Coming at you with another checks and balances over here on the road again. As you can see, there might be something a little different about my visual appearance. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is the level of presumption and assumption in one's psyche versus the will to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, and be open to participating with the facts. And I bring this up specifically because of one individual who I have mentioned this individual before. Their username on YouTube is pi314 yada yada yada. They do credential themselves on some of their comments with at times the punctuated name colon Kenneth hyphen Wayne colon space Caltan and other times it's colon Kenneth hyphen Wayne hyphen Caltan period um, I'm not sure which one is the correct one point being this individual has been in contact with me at various times over the last few years I think they did one workshop with me two or three years ago maybe three years ago and they have contacted me at various times in the past one of these individuals that contact me all in a flurry and they're excited they say I'm ready to learn I'm ready to commit to it I'm gonna do it and then they never do they never do they come out of the gate strong they got no will to continue and also at various times during these uh, incidents where they contact me, they will say something to me like, uh, like they like it's important for them that I participate with their idea of what a God is. Specifically, I'm using a specific example for a reason. You'll see why in a minute. And then. When I don't participate with their assumption and presumption and uncertifiable ideologies of what a God is, then they write me back an email and say that they're very disappointed in me. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. All right. And this individual also, um, at various times, would want me to know. It, it appeared to me, I could be wrong, but it appeared to me they wanted me to know how smart they were. Okay? For example, in this last batch of correspondences with this guy, he said he was ready to learn and get closure on the grammar. He said he was almost there. I said, do you mind if I give you a little test? Sorry about the blurriness of the camera. Um, and he said, no, I don't mind if you give me a little test. I said, cool, thumbs up. So I spontaneously wrote out a sentence and asked him to syntax it. To bank the values of the parts of speech onto the sentence. Folks, literally, he could not credential one word. He was like at a loss. Now, I understand there is a such thing as stage fright. There is a such thing as when certain people are put under pressure, their, their minds just go blank. It's happened to me before. Maybe it happened to him. But the thing is, folks, is even though he could not perform... He could not syntax anything. He had no clue where to start or what to do. Even though he failed, he felt the need to tell me that he's a very, very good syntaxer, uh, just not right now. Well, what the hell does that mean? 
if you and I meet up and we're talking about martial arts and things like that, and I say, well, hey, you want to spar? You want to roll? You want, you know, if it's grappling or whatever, hey, you want to roll? You want to check it out? And during the conversation before we spar, you, you're trying to tell me how good you are, how good of a martial artist you are. You're great. You know this, you know that, blah, blah, blah. And then we get on the mat, and I totally, you totally freeze up. You, you can't get, you don't land one punch. You don't get one underhook. You get taken down repeatedly. You get submitted. You are not able to mount any type of defense or offense of any note. And then when we're done, you say to me, you know what? I am a, a fifth degree black belt, just not today. <laughs> See how ridiculous that sounds? Anyways, point I'm getting at here uh, in a roundabout long ass way is that this same individual on uh, one of the live streams I just did, I think the cognitive conjecture one where I was talking about the possibility of vampires and things like that, he commented in adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, and said something to the effect, and he put it in quotations, well, dollar store quotations, he put it in um, apostrophes, they got to you. What a shame, or something like that. Now, right off rip, I'm looking at this comment, and I'm like, what, what does he mean they got to me? Like, what? I can assume and presume and guess what he means by that overall. Oh, good example, Ryan Garcia, the boxer, which I don't know too much about, but on Twitter, he began sending out these very odd tweets about child sacrifice and the elites and things, rituals that he was forced to witness or something like that. And T horrible, horrible things, right? And then all of a sudden, the next day, there's a tweet that says, I will no longer be tweeting about anything else. I'm going to concentrate on training for my next fight. That's it. And then the comments were like, oh, they got to him. Meaning, whoever it is that controls the system or him or media or whatever, they reined him in. They took his phone from him. They re revoked access to his credit cards. Basically, he got a spanking, allegedly, and so he would stop talking about the shit he was talking about. All right, so that's the way that I took it initially, what this guy said, this Kenneth guy said, Pi 314, that they got to me. Now, what would make him think that, though? I have no idea what would make him think that. I have not changed the way I do anything at all. I pretty much do the navigate the same way, much in the same way that Kenneth navigates in a haphazard manner, at least in his communications with me. Like he'll send out a flurry of messages or a flurry of emails and be all gung-ho about something and then totally disappear. I mean, that's his MO. That's my experience with him over the years. I do the same thing, you know, I am consistent about the way that I convey things, the way that I communicate. And I haven't changed any of that, so I don't know where he would get that idea. That's called assumption presumption of the highest level, folks. The highest level. And he didn't bracket his comment. He just left it out there. An adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, plain, simple, English babble. Which is not the hallmark of someone who has closure on correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Which is, I mean, I know he doesn't. And in my Kuliana to his comment, I expressed that sentiment. I said something to the effect of, the level of your assumption presumption far outweighs your will to learn correct sentence structure with my perception. 
as a tutor observing this guy over the last few years. He's very, very quick to make snap judgments. He's very, very quick to assume something, which is a violation of rule one, rule equal, because if you are familiar with and are educated on judge mechanics, you got to get the whole story before you pass a judgment. You got to get all the knowledge if you see fit to pass a judgment. Otherwise, you're just talking shit. Basically, one the sound of one hand clapping. So that's... It, take, it took all that time to get to this point about assumption, presumption, and learning correct sentence structure. I'm watching the comments. Whether you may or may not know, I will rem remind you that all the comments on this channel must be approved by me. I don't publish all the comments. I publish most of them, but not all of them. All right? I have final say over all of that. So when you come to me and say, oh, my comment disappeared or blah, blah, blah. I have mentioned this many times before. I'm mentioning it again. I am the final say on whether your comment gets on here or not. So please follow the terms and conditions of the comments field. I don't care what you say as long as it falls within the parameters of the terms and conditions. Anyhow. So when you think to open your mouth, especially with regards to me, what I'm doing, or what you think my mindset is, be very careful with what you say. Because I'm watching these comments. And when I watch these comments, I feel like for, you know, because I've been doing this for six years, I feel like I can really see where someone is at psychologically on the geometric level playing field of knowledge cultivation. Are you in the correct psychological position to learn this grammar or are you not? For example, Kenneth Wayne Cowten is not in the correct psychological position to get closure on this grammar. I mean, I have no idea what his syntax knowledge level is, as far as I know, it's zero based upon the test I gave him. But he does have pretty good correct sentence structure knowledge. He's at least 85% there with correct sentence structure, although he does appear to be quite lazy with it. He doesn't cross his T's and dot his I's, if you know what I mean. But if he would take the time to actually focus and learn it, I think he would be pretty good at it. But that hasn't happened. So many fiction concepts and ideas seem to get in the way. And, you know, it's every individual's choice to allow that to happen or to not allow that to happen. Get caught up in these conspiracies. Which is why every time I try to do a conspiracy video, you know, talking about conspiratorial topics, <laughs> I always bring it back to correct sentence structure. I always snap back into that focused lens and, and become critical of these things, which I guess maybe is to my detriment because it probably chases some viewers away because people aren't used to that type of uh, straightforwardness and bluntness. Anyways, folks, this was meant to be a knowledge cultivation lesson on participating with assumption presumption versus having the will to learn correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar and it's also um, basically a notice g-n-o-t-i-c-e that I am looking at the comments and I am looking to see where you're at because I am scouting for people to learn this grammar the most eligible candidates. And those are the ones that definitely will be contacting me, that definitely possess the will to actually follow through 
do the consultation, do the workshops, participate with rule one, rule equal, and follow through and get closure on the, gra on, on the grammar. There are the few, very, very few, the 1% of the 1% of the 1% are gonna do that. And at this point in the now space, it does not appear as though Pi 314 will be one of those individuals. So this sort of doubles as a checks and balances video. And it's also uh, a message to Pi 314. I'm out.